On the 24th of February 2017, Sinead Skuman's house was broken into right here on Somerset Street. We investigate further. My gate was open and my door open and everything had been rustled. Um, we just made sure that everything stays locked at all times, even if you are just quickly running out to the car or just, for example, I'm outside the house. So if I go inside the house, I lock my doors, um, even though I'm, two, I'm going two meters away. We do have a panic button on our keys, which is a little bit of uh, consolation. There's always that fear that if we're walking back, and especially this alley, the street that we're on, can get quite dark at times. It is scary. I don't feel very safe walking around in Grahamstown alone. Many Grahamstown residents rely on private security for their protection. We speak to Corne Nord from the High Tech Armed Response Unit. Over the years, laptops have become gold to these guys because they're nice and small, uh, easy to carry, so it's obviously easier to run with. If there's open windows, it, it blows the curtains and and obviously will trigger the alarm. So, yeah, in the last hour now we've had about 20 false alarms. So, it, it does keep us busy, but obviously we try to take every alarm as a positive call. While stopping all crime may be impossible, high-tech security can provide measures to prevent it. Nadine Wilson, another victim of laptop theft, shares her experience with the company. So it either happened exceptionally late at night or very early in the morning. And I don't know, maybe they just got in by the window or the door, but still my laptop and my flash drive. It was the one day that our gate was not working and that was the day that my laptop got stolen. As soon as it happened, like two days later, they were like, we are going to like boost up your alarm system. And now each person's bedroom has their own alarm. So if you go in the for the weekend, if you just want to lock up your room and be safe, and then you can activate your alarm. I have a laser beam in the corner and a laser beam on my window. So it's very much protected, which it wasn't before. Like if you can get the information relayed quickly or quick as you can to the private security or the police on what happened, what's going on, then generally success is quite good like one guy will be at the house getting information while the other vehicles are trying to scan the area quickly like with that. students moving into digs and more people owning electronic devices the need for private security is becoming a necessity this has been zandile Labangani for rutv